Okay then, chaps, let's give it a go, shall we? We're at the Cyanide Desert, having a mess around in some attack planes, having a jolly good time, dropping some bombs on F-Flag, when I notice that I start to sustain some fire from an attack plane. Now this sort of thing really is frightfully rude. And so I'm going to turn around slowly, and I'm sure you've all seen that famous Tom Cruise movie, we have taken objective and so you'll remember this maneuver particularly well. We're simply going to slow the plane down, allow the gentleman to fly over us, and then we open fire. Keeping him in our sights as best we can, and there he goes, jumping from the plane like the coward that he is. What a rascal. Okay, now I'm on a GG, and as I've said before, these things really are dreadful beasts. How on earth you're supposed to control them, I've simply got no idea. Now, be that as it may, I've made it to the A-flag successfully, and as I'm sat here, I notice an enemy approaching in the distance. Now I take a couple of shots at him, but my aim with this rifle really is shocking until I have to approach him on foot. Now that did go rather successfully, but as I have mentioned, my horsemanship skills really are appalling. And so the second gentleman gets away unharmed. The third gentleman, I believe, is run down by the horse's hooves. But as I approach the second gentleman for a second time, he really is in for a good laugh as I'm unable to turn my horse around. And he keeps shooting and throwing grenades at me until I call off my horse. Okay, some chaps are attacking the chief flag here, and unfortunately I've switched over to the fighter plane and I've neglected to put on the trench fighter kit, so I'm going to have the devil's own time of shooting them. Now I can see them on the sand trench there, I can't line up the shot, but can I squash him? Yes, I can. A tank hunter kit Jolly is good. available near your location. Okay, now to avoid a rerun of the trench fighter incident, we go to the fighter plane, we select the weapons, we look at the layout, we have bomber killer or trench fighter, simply select that, 250 credits, well worth every penny if you ask me, easily one of the best purchases in the game. Now if we want, we can lighten the plane up with a little bit of colour, and why not, let's give it a go, jolly things up somewhat. Oh my god, is that the colour? Oh, that really is hideous. Oh, that is, that is simply awful. Oh, well, I shall have to switch that as soon as possible. Okay, now we're in the fight plane. We haven't had a chance to change the colors yet, but we're getting a little bit bored, and so I'm going to go and see if I can sneak under this archway here. Let me see. No. Can I get a kill, though? We have an armored train on no. route. Okay, now I'm approaching g Flag once again, but I can't see any of the enemy who are trying to capture it. I'll slow down the plane, take a little look. Can't see anything. There's the gentleman on the sand dunes right there. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna bring the plane back around now, have a look, see if I can get any of the other bombers who seem to be lurking around. Keeping it slow and trying not to hit that black bomb there. Oh dear. Yes, well, it seems I've sustained rather a large amount of damage to the plane, so I shall have to go and repair it. Now, the game's very nearly at its end, but there's still a little time left for one or two more passes, so as I bring the attack plane in, I look for the targets, keeping it slow and steady. There we go. Release the bombs and... Ah, oh, she's all Okay, I think we may have time enough for one more pass, so we'll bring the plane keeping it slow and steady, leveling it out once the turn has been completed, passing over the area, keeping a sharp eye out, there they are, and fantastic. 